this is hands down the best time of an MLS season, at least to me. I love the playoffs. A lot of people don't like playoffs in general for soccer in America, whatever. But I think it's cool. I, I do. I wish other leagues had this kind of system. It's like to win the championship. I think it's it's, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I do like it. But today we are going to preview and predict MLS 2022 Cup Final, LAFC or Philadelphia Union. Who is it going to be? Let's see. <laughs> so this final is actually the final that I predicted in my bracket, um, you know, a couple, couple videos ago. You guys can look at that. I mean, why would you? It's That was a playoff prediction. We're already here at the end of the playoffs. But just know, if you want proof, it's back there. Um, so I did predict both teams to win all the way up to the final because they both were really good in the season, all season. Um, they both won each conference, respectively. And they both seemed to be matched up so perfectly to face one another. Great attacking from LAFC and great defense from Philadelphia Union. So it's... It's a really, really intriguing match. Let's real quick look at each team's bracket on the way to the final. Uh, LAFC, obviously, just like Philadelphia Union, had a bye in the first week, first round. So they went to the conference semis, which is against LA Galaxy, which is a huge, huge game. LA Galaxy just came off a narrow win against Nashville's, uh, Nashville SC. But LAFC were just too good. They edged the win out. It's, it, was, it was really good. Uh, but I really thought LA Galaxy could have pulled it off, but... I just felt like LAFC are really determined and really mo motivated this year. Like, it's scary. As a Union fan, it's very scary to see them this way. LAFC then destroyed Austin in the conference final. I thought Austin would put up a little more of a fight or just kind of be like a surprise underdog. But even I was just watching Austin play against Dallas and just in general, it seemed like a really good and tight-knit team. I was like, all right, they could actually pull it off against LAFC. I might be wrong, but... I wasn't, okay? I'm never wrong. Uh, sometimes. All right, so they beat LAFC. They I mean, LAFC destroyed Austin in the finals, made it to the final. Philly also had a bye in the first round. Second, the conference semifinals, they were against Cincinnati, who surprisingly beat New York Red Bulls. Um, not, I mean, not surprising, but I, I did kind of favor the Red Bulls to beat Cincinnati. Uh, but the Union made quick work of that. And then they defeated NYCFC, which is the worst name with the team with the worst stadium. And an ugly badge, just saying. 3-1, uh, easy work on that. Um, easy, easy money right there for the Union. Now, th this is the kind of final you want. This is the kind of game you want in your league, in the soccer, in your final, like to, to decide the champion. Two of the best teams in each conference going off against toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other. Who is the best one overall this year? This is like the coolest thing, the most exciting playoff final, at least to me. I mean, I know a lot of people are hyped up too, but in general, I feel like the playoffs are pretty interesting and good all, you know, every day, all around. But this final is really, and I'm really, really excited for it. And if I have to pick, I really don't know. It could really go either way. Even me as a Union fan, I know the limits of my team. I know the limits of LAFC though too. Um, class A bottler sometimes. But the Union also very inexperienced to get to this. I know they've both teams are going to be here to win their first ever MLS championship, right? So this is iconic for both teams, both cities. But Philadelphia Union, man, I feel like they got the whole city of Philly behind them because Philly sports, for the most part, are doing good. The Union in the final, the Eagles are right now eight eight and zero, I think. The Phillies are might win the World Series, kind of close, kind of close, but they're in there. So it's really good time to be a Philly Philly sports fan, and. Um, Maybe they have that motivate. I feel like they feel that motivation in this sport too. Like them, like the players, like this is it. Like let's represent Philly or blah blah blah, whatever. Like they have that motivation, but also, like I said earlier, LAFC also has their motivation. This year just seems different. Like they really, really want this. They scored six goals on the way here, whereas Union scored only four. Um, but I don't know. It's it's a very very tight game. And I know everyone here is probably thinking LAFC because they got the home advantage, which it is really true and a good argument. But I really have to go and say like they might be underestimating the Union too much, especially at home. Thinking you know what we're at home, we're going best attack in the league. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Union, and non biased as possible, the Union are going to take this. I mean, the Union has had multiple really good players. Gazdag, fucking even Corey Burke, who came off the bench in the last game, really made a big impact. And I see LAFC being able to struggle with someone like Corey Burke coming off the bench. Just the, midf the midfield of the Union, the freaking defense, 
Glesnes. Like it's it's such a good team. Uh, freaking Andre Blake, the wall and goal, you know, and uh, goalkeeper of the tournament this year, amazing. And also in the league itself, uh, Philadelphia Union actually outscored LAFC and conceded less goals than LAFC throughout the whole season this past year. So there's that going for them too. Like they know how to score. They're not just a defensive team. They know how to score. Um, now of course away, they're not the, they, they haven't had the best form. Um, and whereas LAFC had really great form this past year at home, uh, but still, I think they could be underestimating the Union, thinking that they can't score, outscore LAFC, which I really do think they can. Let me know your prediction down below, guys. We'll have a good time. Let me know who you think is going to win down there in the comment section, and be sure to come to the channel, maybe for a live stream that day. I'm not sure yet, but I'm trying to work it out. But I definitely would love to do a live stream with you guys. So let me know down below if you'll be attending. I'll see you guys tomorrow.